This question I got from one of my Instagram followers and friends. They're asking, do you have any must-have office decor? I am gonna put together a list of things that I could not live without, especially for those who are newer and don't really know where to start, what to ask for. Maybe graduation is coming up, your birthday, the holidays. This list is gonna have all the links. So let's jump into this. I'm super excited to share. We are over in my office now and I want to start with the very basic things that I use every single day and that is a lanyard. This is a Vera Bradley lanyard. I would definitely place this on your birthday or holiday list because they can get pricey and they are super needed. And do not forget the badge reel. Badge reels you can clip either to your collar or on a lanyard itself. This one is one of my favorites because it says social worker on it. Another little tool that you may already have, but it took me a while to jump on board, is a smartwatch or an Apple watch. Android has its own version, but I love this watch because it allows me to put it on silent mode and use a timer so I don't go over time during my sessions. I am guilty of doing that, so this really helps me keep me on track. I use it for sessions and also for myself when I'm documenting and doing notes. It really helps me, almost like the Pandora, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Pandora timer. I made a whole video on this on ways to stay efficient and manage your time. So check it out a little later. Also for my sessions, I absolutely need a white noise machine. This one is pretty basic. It has a few different settings and also turns colors, so it's very, very cool to have. And I just plug that in and place it right outside the office door. Because I travel to different office spaces, I can't always guarantee privacy, so I make sure that I have my white noise maker with me always. Here is a little sneak peek at one of my favorite office spaces to use on campus when I'm meeting with students. Take a look at the comfortable seating, lighting, lots of beautiful posters, and inclusion signs and flags, as well as weighted stuffed animals and fidgets. Super important, like this one. I'm gonna share some of my favorites in my Amazon storefront. And by the way, any of these links that you click on directly support me. I get a little percentage from this. So thank you so much for supporting and utilizing the links. But yes, fidgets and games. I don't use too many games, but I'm sharing some of my favorites here that get conversations started and flowing. Many of my games I will take to elementary schools. This is a sneak peek at one of the elementary schools that I visit. You see the little fidget poppers. You also see some toys we utilize in a sandbox, some more games. This breathing tool is so helpful. It helps to really show an example for students on how to take big, deep breaths and then release the breath. Okay, we're headed back to my office now because I have to share the cutest office sign that my one of my work besties got me. This is great to add to your wish list. It's the perfect way to let people on your campus know if, if you need that privacy, that space, you can't be disturbed, that's really helpful. Mine is still in the package because I am in the process of moving to a brand new office. Please stay tuned, hit the notification bell and subscribe here to get the full office tour coming soon. For those of you that are wondering what books I have at work and I use, this one is brand new. My workplace actually purchased this for me. So if you can get your workplace to purchase you a few books, I would definitely request the DSM-5TR, especially if you're doing any clinical work. And then for those that may not be doing too much clinical, but want just a boatload of interventions to try and different ideas definitely grab yourself a school counseling school social work practice planner and depending on where you work there are so many different practice planners i've created almost i was gonna say a playlist but almost like a full wish list of practice planners just depending on the different populations that you might work with for organization i want to share this portable file box this is actually a tip that i got from the school nurse i worked with she had so many of these and gifted me some and then I ordered some more. Obviously, you can travel with these boxes, take notes with you, organize on the go, and especially as a traveling school-based therapist, it comes 
in handy. I would also put this on your list if you are an intern or in school or studying. This is just great to keep all your assignments, things organized and just start a system early on. Speaking of habits that you want to develop early on, definitely buy yourself a nice lunch bag. I've gotten asked how I maintain a healthy lifestyle working in the school system and, and I feel like this is such a good question. There is always a lot of food to go around in schools. I would definitely plan to pack your own lunch majority of the days. This is going to help you just fill your best, especially if health and fitness is something that is concerning to you. It's always been something that I try to maintain just as part of my self-care. So packing my lunch takes a little more work, but honestly, with a nice, cute little lunch bag, it gets done a lot easier and a lot more often. Other cute things that I like to keep around is my little pink mug warmer. This was on my holiday wish list. I'm so happy that my sister bought it for me. It has three different settings and it automatically will turn off if you forget. It has a setting for hot, warm, and then kind of cooled. It comes in handy because it's not very often that I was able to drink a nice warm or hot cup of coffee at work because I'm just so, so busy on the phone or running around and by the time I got back to my desk I kept having to warm up my coffee not fun so I would definitely put that as a little self-care fun treat to have an at your office space I decided to buy this pencil bag this year and it's been the best purchase for me I got this one at Target it makes life so much easier for me because I know exactly where my highlighters and my best slash fun pens are at I also like to keep some gum on hand and some post-its but this is just really cut down on me losing my favorite pens and markers and highlighters. Before I step away from my desk, there is a few more fun things I want to share. This is my key board cover. I really like this. Again, anything aesthetically pleasing, add it to your workspace, make yourself smile, make yourself happy. This little keychain was gifted to me. It says social workers change the world. And this is where I keep my key for my locked file cabinet. So this is the other thing I wanted to share. Part of our ethics is to ensure that all of our files are protected under at least two locks. So this lock is one and then the lock to your office door would be number two and you're in compliance ethically practicing social work the right way. So make sure you have a file cabinet that locks. I also recommend placing a lamp, especially if you're meeting with clients, students, families in your office. These light covers help with the fluorescent lights that can be kind of harsh. So I've bought these covers. They work for now. I want to get some more, but these are really great. I'm going to link them as well. So there you have it. Those are the list of some of my favorites, my must-haves, my essentials. I hope you found this helpful and you add some of these to your list. If I didn't mention something that you find super helpful, please share it with our community in the comments down below. Until next time, I'm wishing you social work success. Bye guys.